नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सम टर्म्स व्हिच आर रिलेटेड विद रचना शरीर इन द क्लासिकल टेक्स्ट लाइक चरक सुश्रुत एंड अदर्स सो दिस टॉपिक वी आई हैव स्पेशली डिजाइंड इन द बेसिस ऑफ द रीजनल एनाटॉमी और सब्जेक्ट स्पेसिफिक और टॉपिक स्पेसिफिक सो इट विल बी इन सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स बट आई थिंक इट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर आवर स्कॉलर्स सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक so first of all let me discuss about the medical terminology the terms so why we need some terms to understand certain particular subject because that terms are actually zeal or the soul of that subject like when we are first of all when we go to the school we go to the first class or you can say we play school there we are going to learn the alphabets alphabets we learn so that we can make the words and sentences from it likewise we have to learn the terms हमें ये सब याद करने पड़ते हैं समझने पड़ते हैं क्योंकि ये सब ही हमारे सब्जेक्ट का बेस बनाने वाला है नो इन आयुर्वेदा स्पेशली मोस्ट ऑफ दर्ड्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम संस्कृत लैंग्वेज सो दीज वर्ड्स आर हैविंग डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स एट डिफरेंट प्लेसेस और इन डिफरेंट सेंसेस तो डेट वी हैव टू यूज देम लॉजिकली वेर एवर दे आर रिक्वायर्ड बट वॉट इज द बेसिक डिफिनेशन ऑफ वर्टिकल टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज ए लैंग्वेज डेट इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब एनोटमिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स processes conditions medical procedures and treatments this whatever is required in to understand a particular medical subject we have to claim that as to be the medical terminology so at first glance medical terms may appear intimidating but once you understand the standard structure of medical words and definition of some common word elements the meaning of thousand medical terms is easily unlocked so when we are going to talk about each word we are going to talk about its etymology we are going to talk about nirupti and from how the world has been de uh, designed and then how we can use this world in different prospects this is the basic aim of this particular lecture so let's start and before starting i will acknowledge namaste portal from where all these words have been accumulated for our use and you can get different quotes and standard terms in this particular portal which can be used by anyone from where only and with some help of some books i have arranged these words in my ppt so first of all we are going to talk about some general terms so first word which is written here is sarira remember it is sarira there is one short definition which can be said to related to the body and in long definition we can simply understand this is one word which is claiming to be the study of structure and function of the body like in first year we have rachana sarira and kriya sarira so these are subjects which are related with structure and function respectively of human body we can say human body because we are concerned with human subjects right now so sarira means subject next one is sarira here you can see it short definition it is body and long definition it is something else very different indicative of continuous process of decay of bodily tissues so this long definition has been derived from siryate iti sariram that is from where this word has been derived the nirukti so siran means saran hona saran hona means decay hona so decay hona kiska body tissues ka so classical text as a manta ki when we are born we are at the best level and then slowly the body starts to decay or ayu ka hash hota hai or ayu ka loss hota hai so from that word we can say sarir means body which is indicative of continuous process of decay of bodily tissues jaise jaise hum boodhe hote hain jaise jaise hum old hote hain jaise body tissue degenerate karta hai then we can talk about it next word is deh deh means body so here the body again short definition is body only but this is in the prospects of growth so it is indicative of growth in bodily tissues now there may be some confusion sarir body deh body so you can see we have to use this word as per the long definition jab sarir likha hoga to uska meaning hum aise derive karna hai yahan pe deh use kiya gaya do they are synonyms but long definition aur nirukti ke hisab se inka meaning different basis pe aayega isliye in words ko pehle samajhna zaruri hai सब्जेक्ट समझने से पहले नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड इज सर्वांग सर्व अंग मीन्स ऑल बॉडी पार्ट टूगेदर सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ होल ऑफ द बॉडी यू कैन सी इन द शॉर्ट डेफिनेशन लॉन्ग डेफिनेशन यू कैन सी होल बॉडी कंप्राइजिंग लिम ट्रंक एंड हेड एंड नेक मीन्स 
that all the components of regional anatomy cutting together it called as sarva anga next word is sarir vriddhikar bhav there are three words sarir vriddhikar and bhav so sarir means body vriddhikar means for the growth bhav means they can be different meanings but here the bhav means factors so short definition is factor responsible for growth of body so you can also understand what may be the most important factors like food water micronutrients then atmosphere then other things but ayurveda has given one definition also said that there, there are four factors for the growth of body that is kal yug that is appropriate time sabhav samsiddhi that is innate nature ahar santum proper nutrition and abhighata absence of impairing factors so these factors will be talked in detail when you are going to learn about the kriya uh, sarir specially but i will give you a small essence of this the kal yug is when you have to do in particular time a particular function like it's time for breakfast then you have to eat, eat the breakfast it's time for sleeping you should sleep then in innate nature means some specific factors are been carried from our parents or you can say simply genetics then ahar proper diet just filling our stomach or satiating our hunger is not all the things but you have to take proper diet so that it can give you proper nutrition and then absence of impairing factors means whatever all the bad habits or the things which can impair our health you should avoid them so these four factors together will be called as sarir vridhikar bhava next is sarir sampat sarir sampat means normal composition of body so this is just as a homeostasis you can say the state of all dhatus of the body being in normal state whatever is the amount of quality of blood it should be like that whatever it will be the for lymph it should be like that so everything when we in homeostasis normal state that particular situation will be called as sarir sampat next one is sarir karak upkarak means which are going to do benefit to the body the factors which are beneficial to body the factors which possess properties similar to body tissues or those which enhance the body tissues when administered within the body so whatever factors is required at a particular time and when it is supplemented or given then that particular factor will be called as sarira upkara so these are certain factors which are related with the term sarira that's why i have accumulated together them here or combined here next word is sadanga sarira or sadanga sad means six ang means parts so six divisions of body so you can simply say this is for the regional division or regional anatomy so there are limbs upper limbs and lower limbs then trunk and then head and neck so same are the division in the modern part also when you see it then there is ang pradesh a world is ang pradesh ang means body parts pradesh means region so body regions the so division of body into various regions for subjective purpose or descriptive purpose you can say so you can get somewhere the world known as ang pradesh then one world is there gatra panchak gatra panchak means gatra means part panch means five so five prominence of developing fetus so when we are going to learn the development of fetus or fetal development then we are going to get the word gatra panchak so there will be five prominence in the developing fetus corresponding to four limbs and head and neck together so these three words sadang ang pradesh and gatra panchakam they are just you can say related to the body parts of body regions gatra panchakam especially in the fetal life or embryological concept and rest to you can see in the adult one next word is adha kaya adha means lower kaya means body so body parts which are lower than waist or kamar ke niche wale part pelvis ke niche wale part so you can see lower half of the body especially lower limbs and all the concerned part then udh kaya udh means upper parts so upper half of the body udh jatru udh means upper jatru means clavicle okay so whatever is part above to the clavicle now you can simply say neck and head is above to clavicle so this is just a synonym which is used very widely in our classical text or samhita udh jatru gata so when they talk about udh jatru gata so jatru means clavicle so usko upar kya hoga head and neck hi hota hai then other word that is synonym type of word is urdh angam urdh angam means again you will get some word it is written like there urdh angam that is again same for head and neck region this is synonym for sometime it is used directly for head also sir then there is one word called antaradhi antaradhi means trunk means antaradhi means upar aur niche ke beech ka part the body exclusive of head neck and limbs 
इन जो बीच का पार्ट है ट्रंक रीजन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फॉरेक्स एंड एबडोम एंड समथिंग पल्विस आल्सो इट कैन बी क्लब्ड टुगेदर एज अंतरराती सो व्हेन यू सी सडन शरीर वाइज चरा कैन सो सो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस वर्ड अंतरराती देन योर वर्ल्ड इज प्रेस्टम प्रेस्टम इज बैक साइड और डॉर्सम ऑफ द बॉडी दैट इज पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रंक सो बैक ऑफ द बॉडी विल बी सिंपली कॉल्ड एज प्रेस्टम देन द वर्ल्ड इज ग्रीवा ग्रीवा इज नेक रीजन द स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच जॉइंस हेड एंड नेक इट इज ग्रीवा then bahu bahu means upper limb it bahu doesn't means hand actually bahu means upper limb the part of body extending from deltoid region to hand all together is called bahu then a word is sakti sometimes both bahu and sakti are used synonymously but typically sakti means lower limb the body part extending from the gluteal region to the foot specialized for locomotion and weight bearing so whatever is on the down side or the legs we call it legs commonly but it is actually lower limb together that is going to be called as sakti so kabhi kabhi books mein likha hua hai sakti gat marma ke naam batao so sakti gat means lower limb like uh, last uh, next word is marma only so marma means boiter point so this is very basic definition but sometimes it may feel some incorrect also but right now we can say this but we are just starting our subject we are not going to complicate it more so it is the point in our body which are 107 in number and they are classified variously on structure basis on dimensions and then there some prognostic part is also given injury hoga to kya hoga so all this is a big topic in our curriculum marma we'll talk there only right now you can understand some vital points in our body will be called as marma then there is something called as kala kala here doesn't mean drawing okay kala here means some coverings so short definition they have given membrane So it is general terms given to membranes of the body. There are seven in number. We will study in detail because this is a whole topic. Mass dhara kala, rakt dhara kala means whatever body tissues and they are being covered by some part that will be called as kala here. They can simply say some type of membranes. Then asti here it is written bone actually, but it is very big difference from asti and bone. We will talk in detail when we are talk- already there is one video in my channel. You can see there. So. just for understanding point of view we have got here bone so it is type of connective tissue which is hard and rigid and makes the framework of the body then there is sandhi sandhi mean joint or articulation so basically these are bony joints bony articulation so wherever there are two or more bone are going to come together and then they have have to do different functions especially locomotion or some movement that part will be called sandhi like shoulder joint knee joint okay then there is what is nai snayu is also a type of connective tissue which is little bit more harder or when we are going to talk about in the contemporary terms you can say ligament tendon nerves etc i am not defining these words in too much detail here okay we have different topics different lectures on each of word because each word is a chapter it is just an introductory just an understanding of what we can understand by the word snayu then a word is there pc in the short term you can see it is written muscle the type of tissue composed of contractile cells or fibers so jo contractile or relax or contract when then with the help of that the movement is possible that particular thing is called pc here then there is word called as chondra chondra is specifically given for the short term definition you can see this written tendon so these are some fibers which connect muscles to bone so a band of fiber tissue connecting muscle to a bone is called kanda and it is said to be upadhatu or pratadhatu these all things will be in detail afterwards right now you just understand this then there is a word called as sira sira is a tubular structure which is going to help in some conduction of material or fluid so it is commonly used for veins it is not synonymical for two veins remember it is not synonym for vein it is commonly used for veins we'll talk in detail then there is one word called as srotas again these are channels which are meant for the transportation of some tissues from one part to other but while it transporting there will be some transformation also again this is a big chapter we'll talk in detail about it so here you understand these are channels these channels can be bigger ones also smaller ones is inside the single cell in a particular tissue or it can be in the total human body next word which is not written here but we can consider dhamani the so dhamani means again a tubular vessel but when something flows through it it produces some sounds that's what is called dhamani so these are some general words which you should know for starting our subject that is rachana sharir 
In next lecture, I am going to give you some terms related to upper limbs, lower limbs, and likewise thorax and abdomen also. In like, and the last part we are going to give the words with some related with the embryological concepts of garbha. So right now, thank you, thank you very much.